All right, my fellow food lovers, we are here today on a very exciting adventure. We have found a farm high up in the mountains that have preserved the most ancient and endangered species of pigs in this region. Two women who have taken it upon themselves to preserve the local animal life and turn it into the most delicious prosciutto you've ever tasted. So please like and subscribe below so you can join us on this adventure. But for now, let's meet Giovanna. She's the one doing all the work. Nice to meet you. Would you mind showing us the pigs? <laughs> let's go take a look. This is your first glimpse at the Macriola pigs. Ah, wow. They look so different. They're furry. So these are the, the ancient pigs dating all the way back to the Etruscan age. That's pre-Christ. So potentially thousands of years old. And they were thought extinct in the early 2000s. Now she has 130 here that she's taking care of. Incredible. Let's go meet them. She got the work started and then was able to, in testing, prove that this, in fact, is the Macchiola. Look at the size of this guy. Wow. So here's the Macchiola pig. This is the only place on planet Earth they exist. The way that she's supporting the bloodline is that she has three different families, and for every one pig that goes to slaughter, she needs to guarantee that two of the other families have two generations of pigs that can keep the bloodline alive. This reinforces no inbreeding happens and guarantees the future of the species. We're gonna introduce you to Paul Newman. It's one of the studs of the farm. Uh, he's been breeding with the females for 10 years. You can see his size. He's got beautiful tusks, and the tusk actually goes up into his lip. So this guy is a living legend on the farm. Hey, buddy. You got something to say to the people? All right, so walking through the farm here, we have the women on this side, the men on this side, all the men have a different purpose. Some are castrated and will eventually be sent to slaughter. Some are here for breeding. The women give birth once a year. You could do twice a year, but she doesn't like to push them. So once a year, they give birth to up to four little piglets, and they'll give birth up to around the age of eight. The lifespan is somewhere between 10 to 13 years old. Here we have the males that have been lined up for slaughter. They're just being fed as we speak. Um, so this means they've been on the farm for at least several years. They've been castrated and soon they're gonna become prosciutto. So we're gonna go try it and see what it tastes like. So before we go taste the prosciutto, we have to explain the Schlada box. This is a fascinating story because you have here a very resilient woman who wanted to do things the humane way. But here in Italy, you have to process the food in mass processing plants. So she found a German solution, went to the head of health ministry, got an appeal, and now they can slaughter on their own farm in a humane fashion. Take a look inside, two animals at a time, done humanely, taken four kilometers down the road for proper processing. Let's go try the prosciutto. We are inside their home right now. This is Tinti, her partner, is gonna be making us the prosciutto. It's on the slicer right now. And man, it doesn't get more fresh than this. So we've wrapped up our day on the farm, learning all about how they're preserving these ancient species that nearly went extinct, and now we're gonna try them. So we have the prosciutto on our plate, and we're gonna dip into this and see what it tastes like. Oh my God, very deep in flavor, and the fat, this bit here, which is actually quite healthy for you, I found out, because of the way it's made, um, truly melts in your mouth. Mm. Giovanna just explained to us that it took her five years of true research with the local university to get approval, proving that this species of pig was in fact the ancient Macchiaiola. This entire book is the research papers, all with calculations and history and photos. So this document proves we have found the Macchiaiola pig. From prosciutto to Lanza. Oh, that's the back strap, right? Oh, okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Lanza. Ooh. Oh my God. Crispy. It's perfect. Just the texture. It's a bit more crispy. You can hear that. I like it. Mmm. Ah. Pancetta. It's a stomach. Pancetta. Doesn't even taste like pork. That tastes like straight up butter and whipped cream. 
I can literally taste it in my ear canal. I'm not even kidding. There's so much flavor, I taste it in my ear. It's been so inspirational to see two women taking life by their own hands and preserving the ancient ways, not only the ancient ways, but truly the ancient animals that are so important to society. And you can see when people put in this, this much effort, the food's gonna come out that much better. We have our prosciutto, which is the back of the leg, onsa, which is the back of the animal, the pancetta, which comes from the stomach area. That is fantastic. You're a living legend. Bravo. Bravo a ti, Bravo. thank you. Bravo. Titi, thank you so much. Thank you. You're too. the best. Thank this was you. such a special day. Bravissimo. And now we're going to take Bravissimo. all this home with us <laughs> for a bit of dessert. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Plenty more of Tuscan cuisine to come. Let's go. Today was just a very simple example of what local conservation can do and impact a huge community. This is part of something bigger called the Progetto Vagal. They've saved 14 animals across all of Italy, ancient animals that were on the verge of extinction, brought back and now being repopulated. Incredible.